Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The world of farming is changing. From the power and versatility of Steiger and Magnum tractors to the legendary reliability of axial flow combines, Case IH can help you be ready. To learn more, visit caseih.com forward slash be ready. On a previous Iron Talk, we discussed how you could protect your dry fertilizer and actually put a treatment right on it on the farm. You can protect your liquid fertilizer as well. We'll talk about how to do that in today's Iron Talk. If you're applying liquid nitrogen this spring, don't put it out there unprotected. With the price of nitrogen fertilizer, it's just too expensive to lose any of it. And also, environmentally speaking, you don't want to have that happen. You don't want your nitrogen leaching away or running off. So what you do is use a product like a Nutrisphere N, for example. But if you're going to mix that with liquid nitrogen, you have to know what you're doing. Here's the process. First of all, put the nitrogen in the tank. Then the last thing you put in is a product like Nutrisphere N. Now, there are other products you can use besides Nutrisphere, of course, but I'll use that as an example. If you're putting Nutrisphere on, you put a half a gallon per 100 gallons of final solution. So that means if you're mixing your liquid nitrogen in with, say, some ammonium thiosulfate, for example, to get your sulfur needs met, well, wait till you get that all mixed together, then go by the total solution. The real key to watch out for is don't put that protector product like Nutrisphere in, in first. You want to have the nitrogen in the tank first before you put the protection product in. You'll get better mixing and you'll have better luck on your farm. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.